Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at cattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a fat cat in a garden. I'm going to take two fingers in the center and put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a pretty good sized circle. And then I'm going to do what we call an overlap. So I start on the left and I draw a curve line down, over, up, connect. I'm going to draw it again, starting on the left, curve line down, over, up, connect. I come right here at the bottom and I draw a straight diagonal, one, two, three, four wavy lines, and up, and I draw a straight diagonal, one, two, three, four wavy lines, and up. Now I come on the right hand side and I draw another big curve line down, over, jump over, jump over, and draw a curve line up, down, connect. I come right down here and I draw a little triangle. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I come up to the top and I draw a curve line up, down, connect on the right. Curve line up, down, connect on the left. Come inside and draw a little curve line once, little curve line twice. Come in the center, draw a curve line, straight diagonal down, straight diagonal up, connect. Right here in the center, curve line to the left, little curve line, curve line to the right, little curve line. Okay. That's it on the cat. Now I'll show you how we're going to color it in and add the gardens. Okay, the first thing for my cat is I'm going to do a little up, down, up, down. Wherever there's a black line, I'm going to do an up, down, up, down little line <clears throat> with my dark brown. And that's going to give me a little bit of shading when I color in the rest of the cat. So you do every single section where there's a black line. You're going to use that darker brown and do an up, down, up, down line to add some shading. Okay? Then I came in with orange and colored in between. And that's all of the cat body parts. Okay? I color the ears and the face. His nose, I'm going to color black. Okay? So that's your cat. Now, for the garden part, I'm going to do a design, a pattern in the background. So first I start off with a light green and I just do a wavy, wavy, wavy line all the way down and across. And this is as if he's sitting in a garden. Keep going. All the way down. All the way down. And across. Then I take a, a red and I'm going to do what we call a spiral. And it's just dot and go around and around. Dot, around and around. Dot, and around. All the way. You're going to do this on every single space that you can that has some white. All the way across and all the way down. So even all the way over here. So the whole entire side uh, background is going to be filled in with these red spirals. I'm not doing all of them. Just so you get the general idea that it's an overall pattern. It goes all the way across, under, next to, above, the whole entire drawing. 
Now, these are supposed to be flowers. If you wanted to do a different flower, you could, but this is kind of the easiest one that I can think of. Now, I come back in and I take a blue crayon and I just do an up, down, up, down design on the top, bottom, sides of every single red spiral. Now, this might take a while and that's okay because when it's done, it's going to look spectacular. You're going to do it all the way across. It could be the situation whereby, if you wanted to, you could do the cat one day and do the background the next day so you don't get tired of doing all this coloring. And this is a coloring project. Okay? I didn't even finish. I'm going to show you mine that's all done. Hold on. Here's my fat cat in his garden, ready for spring. Okay, bye-bye.